the future is jujitsu. It's happening right now. Did you see the other day uh, Mark Zuckerberg posted that he's now like head over heels in love with jujitsu? Isn't that awesome? One of the richest men to ever live. And this guy has all the resources in the world. And he was on Joe Rogan's podcast. And what did he say? He said, number one, this is the best sport. Number two, he said, I can't believe I didn't know about this sooner. Like he is shocked that it was not brought into his life sooner. So the love that you have for it, the love that I have for it, the love that we spread to everyone that we talk to, it's like, yo, you got to do jujitsu. It never reached Mark Zuckerberg until right now. And I, the reason I like to bring this up on a podcast where other people are listening is this. If the guy who has the more resources than most every person on the planet except for a small handful is, has fallen head over heels for jujitsu, meaning this is his new passion that he's involving himself in and dedicating hours and hours to every day and every week. If this is true for Mark Zuckerberg, then jujitsu is good enough for you. And who am I talking to? Every Patty fan on the planet who's watching right now. Because, Patty, you have to understand and you have to know this. You have fans who watch your fights, who cheer and get excited and jump up and scream at the television screen, and they watch you do a flying triangle. But when the, when the show ends, in, the, in their heads, all they say to themselves is, Patty's the man. But I never want to do what Patty does. I never want to involve myself with the sport that Patty is involved in. I'm just happy to cheer from the sidelines. So interestingly, like one of my greatest roles in society and existences on this earth is that of getting people who are observers of jujitsu from a distance to become practitioners of jujitsu for themselves. That's like my greatest passion. So you'll see that we do these Gracie breakdowns, which are all over YouTube. And when there's a big blockbuster fight, you know, Connor was a, one of the big ones was Connor versus Habib, right? When they fought and he choked him and we did a breakdown and we put it on YouTube the next morning and we explain what happened in the fight, but we do it through a jujitsu lens, Patty, so that it's so easy for the average person to understand technically what happened. It's almost like we make a lesson out of the fight yeah. and we take away all the blood and the gore so that the student can go, wow, I don't want to do UFC, MMA. I don't want to do that thing, but I want to do what those guys are showing on YouTube because it's calm, technical, precise, cerebrally, mentally stimulating. It's all these beautiful things. It's technical. I want to do what those guys are showing. Even though I don't want to do MMA, I want to do that. So these Gracie breakdowns have generated hundreds of millions of views across platforms over the last 10 years since we started. And the number of people who started doing jujitsu as a result of seeing one of those breakdowns and then going, wow, these guys are cool. And I like the way they teach. I want to go find a school where I can learn. That right there is one of the biggest funnels from couches to training rooms, to couches, to the dojo in all of social media. And I think in the world, right? The only person probably who's solely bringing more people to jujitsu than me and Hidon is probably Joe Rogan. He's a massive advocate funneling yeah. people to jujitsu all the time on his podcast, which I love. Um, but me and Hidon are very dedicated to getting people on board and to see that Mark Zuckerberg is now practicing. I'm just saying to all of your fans, like, yo, the time is now. Jiu-jitsu is for you. Now, some people go, oh, I'm too scared. I don't want to go to an MMA gym and get beat up. I don't want to be thrown to the wolves. So what we created, Patty, for this reason is a website called gracieuniversity.com. And we have all the lessons online in order. So lesson number one is the first thing you see. Then you see lesson two. And lesson three builds on lessons one and two. Lesson four, lesson five. And you just keep cycling through this linear curriculum. And we now have, I think, 360,000 members learning online in 196 countries. And all those people heard about that website through the Gracie Breakdown. So now what happens is they learn online, they see a few lessons, they fall in love with it. A lot of times they're training in their living room with their brother, their mom, their sister, their son, whoever, and they're practicing these techniques. And then they go, all right, now I want to go find a gym where I can train with other training partners. And then they find a school on the website, right? We have a whole list of locations. And then they embark on the journey at the school. But what we've done is we really lowered the entry barrier for someone to go try jujitsu online, watch the lessons in order, fall in love with it. And then if you love what you see, then go find a school where you can continue your practice and train in a group setting, which is beneficial for everyone if they have that opportunity. But my passion is getting people on the jujitsu bandwagon. And that's 
one of the reasons why I wanted to come here and talk to you today, because I can imagine that out of your fans worldwide, let's say 100% of the Patty fans, which there's hundreds of millions of, let's assume, let's say 1% of those 100%, I assume that less than 1% have ever tried any martial art, let alone jujitsu. So what about the 99%? How are we going to get them over the hump to try a class GracieUniversity.com, watch the first three lessons for free, and if it's not the best thing you've ever seen from an instructional perspective, then you get your money back. 